Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about TV lamps. Now this is not a concept that we have really anymore, but it was very popular in mostly the 50s and the 60s. And it was kind of an unusual, let's call it a fad, because they were making the lamps and they were promoting them as something that you could use to um, reduce eye strain while you're watching TV. Now, there doesn't seem to be any firm science backing that up. I think for the most part it was a marketing ploy, but essentially because TVs were felt fairly new at that point in time, they felt that having a dark room with a big glowing box in it was somehow going to create eye strain and that you could use the TV lamp as a way to reduce that situation. So anyway, I think for the most part, TV lamps were just meant to be fun home decor and, you know, give you a little splash of color or something interesting that you could put on top of your TV. So they made a wide variety of these. They were made by a number of different companies. For the most part, they tend to be ceramic and they tend to be pretty colorful. They are usually animals and things of that sort. Some of them are highly stylized in more of a art deco look. Um, but what I have here is just a duck. It's fairly colorful. Um, it's got a nice shiny finish. And you can see that it really looks sculptural. And to my mind, that, that was more the point of it, is to have a, an attractive sculptural piece in your house. So um, basically the way that it works is there's a small night light bulb here in the back. And let me demo it for you real quick so you can kind of see the effect that you get from it. So I turn the light out. You, what you can see is that there's just a soft glow coming from that night light behind it. And you do get a bit of a silhouette effect. So, again, I don't know that there was any meaningful functionality here, but they look very cool, and pretty much when I see them pop up on um, auction sites and whatnot, people really like them and they tend to get bid up. So, if this is something that you're interested in and you see one for what you consider to be a decent price, I would snag it. I mean, even if it's not your personal cup of tea, you might know somebody who's likes ducks. Um, panthers were a very popular uh, motif and I think almost every manufacturer that made TV lamps had at least one panther. Um, they also sometimes would make them with plant boxes in the front so like the front piece would have an opening for you to put plants in. I don't know how well that really worked with the whole light behind it and you know all of that but there are sometimes uh, ones that you find that are a combination of TV lamp and plant box. So anyway, I hope that you learned something today and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.